Today is January 7, 2021, and I'm going to do a fast video on Olaf Scholz. Olaf Scholz, I'm sure you know who the person is. I'm sure you know Olaf Scholz was the substitute, a German substitute for German state, as far as Angela Merkel. There you have it. This is a man uh, quite closely also sort of resembles a psychiatrist of all against me. That's a Chetnik collaborator, Peter Kapsch, a deputy of Milan Kuchan, individual who demanded so many times from me to follow Milan Kuchan, to just do whatever Milan Kuchan wants me and so on. Um, this individual, Olaf Scholz, therefore facially, the two resemble one another quite, uh, very much actually, and the two collaborated with one another against me. So this is actually really important for me to accent. This is a very, very important stuff. Very important stuff. The two collaborated with one another. Look, because it's about a little bit bigger politic that is on scale. This man was in Poland on a Hunger Games, on Donald Trump's Hunger Games, uh, relatively late participant. He appeared in our house on one occasion. And you know why I do this? I do this because of this stuff here, because of this. Today I explain a little bit more about a facial profiling, how I started one from the partisan memorials and how it all went through the beatings, through the death threats. Basically, Angela Merkel... No, I don't think it was Angela Merkel back then, here. No, I don't think she was. She was. At least not at the opportunity. I don't. I cannot recall. It was somebody else. And drugged up as I was, the year probably was maybe 2002, rather than 2001, 2002 probably. Mm, I might be mistaken. It could have been 2000, 2001. Let's go with the 2001. Right downstairs, you realize that this is 20 years ago. I'm talking about 21 years ago drugged up. Downstairs where we have a second shower room. Bathroom, shower room. Uh, they caused so much damage in this house. They destroyed doors. I'm going to record, I'm going to video record with how the locks were. I'm going to record what they did with the locks. Uh, I'm going to record what they did with the parquet. I don't know how you say that in English. Parquet. They destroyed just by moving sofas in a living room. Americans did. They fucked up all the, the stuff because of this game with directed energy weapons, with the gas. No, this shit is real. It was a Joe Biden who got some kind of compensation to my mom for destroying this thing here. I don't know how you say this in English. Uh, inside of the living room. And that compensation was shitty, by the way, as I heard. It was very, very, very shitty, poor compensation but it was at least something. It was nothing but destruction of the house along all the cows, the, the chaos they did inside of this house over the course of the years when they were coming inside in here. So this guy, Olaf Scholz I'm talking about, was downstairs 
and uh, they were talking to me about the cancer, about the cancer shit, cancer here, cancer there, cancer, blah, blah, uh, that they're going to subject people uh, to the cancer for my sake. Um, this is something that is so insane stuff, subject, that probably any one of you would feign. Uh, but th this was the reality on that MKL Ultra all the time was this jock shock bullshit. Um, if somebody appeared with some kind of heavy um, physical condition, disease, something, of course, compassion worthy. But under MK Ultra, uh, it always ended with this is what you're gonna have, this is what you're gonna get. So, the same shit like with the parties and memorials, the same shit like with the people whom I started under MK Ultra to profile. Because, because it didn't make sense. I profiled also these patients and stuff like this. I send them, I, before we even started to talk about as soon as they told me about some kind of crazy medical condition I already told them to because I know that's how it's gonna end anyways and so I see this guy downstairs let's say 2001 all of shorts it was a younger really younger and he was standing right outside of this shower room area in the garage we have the second furnace now and uh, boy I, I see his face and he's got a like sweat dripping down and uh, he's looking at me with an expression I felt was like and fear and anger the two things fear and anger that's how it appeared to me and boy I see this guy with this drops pouring down his forehead man I'm, I'm fucking saying man I'm saying I'm saying to the person whoever the person was I said man what the fuck is this now eh? and uh, the other guy says um, well, we already talked, this is Olaf, this and that. Yeah, I met Olaf before, but I said, what the fuck? He's got, uh, it, it was it was just fucking terrible, this condition he was. And he said, the, the, the cancer, the cancer, I said, the cancer. I said, the cancer, man. Uh, I'm looking at the guy this this was beyond insane this this was just already beyond fucking insane man um, the guy inside of the house where the shower is appeared to me completely fucked up with this uh, sweat going down drops water sweat man I thought I'm gonna faint I I said what the fuck are you guys doing eh? and he said what do you mean what do you mean what do you mean I said look at him look what you did to him uh, and the other guy said what 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 have we done and this and that and this and that I said look look what you did to him look what you look look what is going on eh? I was uh, I had it enough of this bullshit I was about to explode and um, I said why don't you help this man eh? and uh, I said like what uh, what what is good I don't know what the fuck is good for this guy I don't know food what is going on here in this and that man this was a fucking my nightmare and uh, I demanded from them to give this man food to take care of him <sighs> uh, 
Then it came out that uh, from Angela Merkel that this was a very nice gesture, that I uh, take care of him, whatever. Uh, this was this was very bad stuff that I have seen. This was very very bad stuff. And uh, then that he's going to be in charge, that he's going to help me out, and whatever, blah 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 blah, man. Uh, and uh, then he, for some time, he really uh, dedicated himself. He he really promised that he's going to help out and this and that. Became motivated that he's going to help me out. Uh, but it was everything was a blah blah blah. Uh, it was just uh, MK Ultra ever since. It was just more and more all kinds of stuff, more and more deeper and deeper in shit. I was uh, more and more problems, and the only thing I heard is uh, help me out. Uh, had me in companies over there in Germany, back and forth, and this and that. Uh, but it fell for me that this guy is just digging a deeper and deeper grave for me. This was no fucking help. And just like Van der Leyen, he started to dream about the money. And it became very, very evident that this is a con artist interested in detouring my concentration on a compensation under MK Ultra for which it was so highly accented money how much money I'm gonna how much they owe me this and that into a completely political direction through what appeared to me at the end at the end of the final abuse in which also Emmanuel Macron French president involved since 95 through his father physician was involved into some kind of manipulation that would just steer me away in the direction of a politic rather than to end this fucking abuse which is now 27 years of abuse. Put me at stake for the sake of Milan Kuchan, literally through the medical examination, started to incite in the schizophrenia, the same shit like they did prior to my departure to... through Croatia to Hungary. That was the destination in 2017. And then from Hungary, literally, through Poland, because they wouldn't allow me to board plane for the Russia. A second plane, um, you know, you, I don't know. Uh, in Ukraine, Belarus, and then again in 2018, to Slovakia, where I again ran always through this psychiatric death threats they became uh, evident that he wanted to orchestrate yet another run this time I would run to Germany basically through stealing the same shit and it was just one of those cookies that appears over the course of the years uh, was creating more and more and more problems for me. These problems involved South Africa, countries nearby, um, rather than to come, rather than they just, instead of that, what they did was they were just causing a bigger and bigger precipice between any chance to avoid disaster uh, it appeared at times even with a South African government together that I was a common interest the idea was I think from the German side to destroy me just as from the South African side 
I think the two parties literally collaborated together with one another against me, were creating all kinds of emergencies, urgencies, they recorded themselves a light, broadened this slice, and all of shorts just happens to be like at the climax of all this bullshit. Um, knowing that placing me in this kind of situation, position at home and abroad would give Germany a chance to twist me around their little finger the way the German state would precisely want it. Uh, the same shit like a Ursula von der Leyen, the same crap, he too demanded the game of death. Supported Milan Kuch on board Pahor, therefore Vladimir Putin is politic, Serbian Alexander Vucic is politic. Uh, against me, in Slovenia, literally, had people engage in crime against me, I believe, and awarded them, pre-inspected all the abuse, whatever they have made an agreement prior with the German government will take place against me right here in Slovenia. It used to be that our people would run for life to Germany from a Yugoslav Udva, from the greater Chetnik state, Croats, it doesn't matter, Slovenians also Serbs did. And it would the German government would claim, oh, the Udba got them, Tito sent, they killed, this and that. They did. But it's never been revealed, and I was very, very suspicious about this stuff, uh, that oftentimes it was a German government that gave the information to these assassins how to find their victims, and at times I bet the German government alone did, so they could blame somebody for it. It's how are you going to prove? Anyways, at this time, what's unique, the Germans came to Slovenia to do the job, eventually for Udba. And that's a fact. And that's a Olaf Scholz. You see, that's why you read that post about it. The German politicians are not sincere. It started with the money. The money was a trouble. Why? It was from the side of Ursa von der Leyen. It was from the side of Sebastian Kurz. Why? To pay him out. Uh, eventually pay him only if you're going to partner us with us. They wanted to get themselves in charge for everything I did. They wanted to become my owners, not my bosses. And then, why should we do this if we can get a better way out? And they did found thousand ways to convince other people whom they didn't even have to convince or to rationalize, to apologize their lies against me. That's all there is. That's why this guy is definitely not my choice. Today is January the 7th, 2022. Thanks for watching this video.